experimental video. So Nick just put up a, a video about these altitude masks not too long ago and we're going to do a bit of an experiment today to see, well we already know they don't work, <laughs> but we're going, to, we're going to see how much harder it is to run with one of these on. So we're going to run at 5 minute K pace. We actually did this video a while ago and we, we, lost, the, we lost the file but it was stuffed at the end so it'll be interesting to see. But we'll have this on, we'll be running at 5 minute K pace on the treadmill, 5 minutes normally first, yep. we'll be recording heart rate. Um, rating perceived exertion, so how he feels out of 10, and we'll get a blood lactate sample at the end just to see how much anaerobic contribution is being uh, used up at that pace. Then we're gonna have a full five minute recovery, so we'll be fully recovered after that. And we're gonna do the same five minutes, uh, sorry, five minutes? Yeah, five minutes at, at five minute K pace. Again, we'll put the mask on this time, we'll get rating perceived exertion, we'll also get his heart rate, take his lactate at the end as well. So. Look, not, not really sure what we're expecting. We're gonna think heart rate will be higher with this on because less oxygen coming in. Makes sense that there'll be a higher anaerobic contribution, so higher lactate there as well, and obviously rating of perceived exertion will be right, right through the roof because he can't get any oxygen in. So we'll jump in, we'll see how we go. All right guys, so we've got Nick here. We're gonna do the first five minutes, just normal, no mask, nothing like that. So we'll do five minutes, then we'll get lactate, we'll get heart rate, we'll get rating of perceived exertion at the three minute mark and also at the end. Ready to go, mate? Yep. Alright, right, next three minutes in, what's your rating of the exertion mate? Give me some fingers. About six. Oh, so six out of ten. Not too bad mate, gotta work on your fitness a bit. Rating for, so 5.2 lactate, it's pretty high. Uh, rating for seat position at the end there? Yeah, still about six, five to six. Five to six, yeah, right. so do, do, do a walking rest. Let's do for five minutes of walking rest, full recovery. Oh, so 10, 10 seconds here. All right guys, so just about to finish off the five minute walking recovery, just nice easy 4.2 k's an hour. So mask on, five minutes at five minute K pace, and we'll see how we go. Good to go, mm -hmm. Come out. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, three minutes in, some fingers for RPE, Nick. What about? About seven. Nine. Yeah, you're working hard at nine. Heart rate's, heart rate's 163 at the moment, so his end heart rate was 160 last time. So heart rate's already up, we've got just under two minutes to go. Give it up, bud. Heart rate was 160 last time, we're at 175. One side's mask. Here we go. And the lactate's at 3.2, so interesting results. Then a 3.2 there, okay. All right guys, so we've just finished up the, the test and there's you know, some pretty interesting results. So let's say we didn't really, really know what to expect in terms of the lactate, but as an overall summary, heart rate was 161 at the end of the, the non-mask period. Got to 174 uh, with the mask on, so working harder there. Rating of perceived exertion, you said we're at nine yeah. for the, with, with the, the mask. mask yeah. Six without it, so obviously working a lot harder with the mask on. Um, and lactate, interestingly, I don't know if you can see that there, but so we got to 5.2 the, without the mask on and it actually dropped down to 3.2 um, with the mask on there. So I don't think we got it in the video, but you're saying at the start, talking about some overtraining and you're pretty fatigued at the moment. Um, so you know, how do you reckon that's going to affect 
affect this. Obviously, your rating of percentage exertion was high. Um, one thing we didn't do, which we probably should have, is, is taken a resting blood lactate sample because it could have been quite high, especially if you are overtrained. Um, but so we've done that that first the first sort of five minute there, and then what do you reckon that that, that five minute rest period when we're walking? What do you reckon that's going to do to our lactate levels there? Yeah, so essentially that five minute rest period um, in between where we're, we're walking that nice slow uh, consistent pace is that active recovery period. So essentially we're just flushing out all that metabolic byproduct that we don't want. Um, which also could have contributed to a bit of that lactate drop between our initial testing period, so without the mask and then with the mask. So we, we could have cleared some of that stuff out. Um, like you said, that if it, the residual stuff um, already in there, so we got lactate sitting around from that overtraining, um, could potentially have just been flushed out because of that little recovery period in between um, our two trials. So that could have affected why we had a lower reading in the second, in the second one and maybe a higher in the first one. Yeah, yeah, as well. yeah, definitely. And in, in terms of like physiologically, like there's, there's three three ways that we use that, that oxygen up. We, we breathe it in, so take it in, then we transport it by the cart and cardiovascular system, and then use it by the muscles. Now, this mask, all it does is restrict the airflow. So it doesn't affect our, our muscle diffusion rate, doesn't reduce that partial pressure of oxygen, which you can look at the other video about altitude training mask to prove that. Um, and it's not going to change our, our heart rate response either. Now, our heart rate did go up. Now, you said before, ventilation probably didn't change too much. Yeah. Had five minute K pace, so it's moving okay, but if it was four minute K pace, you wouldn't have finished yeah. you wouldn't have finished it with, no. the, with the muscle. There's no, no way. No okay. Way. So we're still at a sub-maximal intensity. Talk to me about ventilation, breathing rate, tidal volume and all that and, and how you sort of maintain that. Yeah. And why your heart rate would have gone up, because it was harder to breathe. Yeah, so a total, a total ventilation or the amount of, amount of air we're getting in um, per minute, it's made up of two variables. So how many times we're breathing per minute and then how much uh, we're breathing in, so how much total air we're breathing in per breath. So our, our respiratory rate and our tidal volume. Um, with the mask off, I didn't have to breathe as often. So my tidal volume is the main factor in that increasing ventilation. Yeah. To deeper me, breaths. Yeah, so deeper, deep, deeper breaths. breaths in, so I'm getting more air in per breath, um, getting better value for that breath as well. Once you put the mask on, definitely increase my breathing rate purely because the mask, what it does is it restricts the amount of air coming in. So um, I obviously have to breathe more often yeah. to be able to get the same same amount of air in, which if we manipulate those variables, where, where we worked out with, especially with the lactate, we noticed that what we usually see with a steady state sort of period, so yeah. that, that ability to just keep, uh, keep the lactate out and start clearing it um, at the same rate it's being produced, so we're, we're pretty comfortable intensity, is that without the mask, I'm taking the, taking the deeper breaths in, so uh, my ventilation is going to be whatever it, we obviously didn't measure it specifically, but yeah. it's going to be whatever it was um, at that given intensity. But then when I put the mask on, tidal volume would have dropped because I'm not getting the same amount of air in per breath, but then respiratory rate definitely increased to then pick up that slack. So it's pretty likely that ventilation didn't really change between both conditions, mm. but uh, just the variables at which they interact to create ventilation um, is probably what was, what was the biggest factor. Yeah, definitely. So as an overall summary, I mean, the way, the way that we've perceived this is obviously, um, so ventilation would have been similar because it was a sub-maximal intensity. We didn't need to get to our peak ventilation. Like, let's say Nick could get to 150 litres of ventilation without the mask on. He might only be able to get to 70 with it on, but at five minute K pace, 70 is all he needed anyway. Yeah. All right, so the ventilation, the amount of air coming in didn't change. If we went that to four minute K pace, there's no way you would have got no, it. You said yeah. right? um, So that's, that's the reason why, why lactate, um, may not have gone up anymore because we didn't actually need that more that much more oxygen coming in. Heart rate went up significantly. And would you agree that's probably one, one economy, like if you're stressed out that, yeah. you, that you can't breathe, but also because you have to take really, your respiratory muscles, your diaphragm, really working hard to get that air in, yeah. that's going to tense you up, use up more energy, you're going to put the heart rate up as well. Um, probably a bit more CO2 coming in yeah. too because you can't get that, that air in. Uh, and then in terms of muscle diffusion, I said we couldn't measure it because we couldn't obviously put the VO2 max mask on as well as that. Yeah. Would have been the same. Right? Yeah. It's not going to affect your muscles, it's not going to affect your, your circulation, it's just that air breathing in. So um, in future, if we do another test, might do one at, I don't know if you want to do a four minute K pace, but you won't be able to do it, but we'll go a little bit faster. So then that restricted ventilation actually played a massive yeah. part. That was the limiting factor there, as opposed to a sub-max intensity as it is now. Uh, and we'll get resting lactate, and, and generally just don't do it while you're fatigued. Make sure you're yeah. nice and recovered um, before we do it. So yeah. there we go. So again, check out the video about why it doesn't actually improve endurance performance. All it did was make it harder. Um, and yeah, put your questions below and we'll, we'll get a discussion going. Thanks guys.